what's up everyone? It's another day, another flight session. Um, just getting set up here at this uh, office park behind me because I've got something that I want to test today. Let me just figure out a way, see how I can situate this. Um, I'm testing the new crossfire shot from TBS. I've loaded it up. Well, this uh, crossfire receiver has the firmware on it. I'm running this on my Jumper T16 Pro with the Crossfire Micro Module. And I'm not running this on Betaflight. I'm running this quad on uh, Emu Flight. So this will be a test for that as well to see kind of how well it works with Emu Flight. It should work fine because Emu Flight is just a fork of Betaflight. Um, but we're not here talking about Emi Flight. I've already done a video about that. I'll link it down in the video description. We're here to talk about Crossfire Shot. So what is Crossfire Shot? It's just TBS's newest version of their uh, low latency control link, or long range low latency control, and it's supposed to be pretty darn quick. Um, people, uh, pilots have switched to it have said that they um, feel a really big difference and that the latency is like near zero. So the latency in mini quads don't really mix too well. Ideally, you want the lowest possible latency between your aircraft and control and from, v and from VTX to goggles. And at least on the radio side, this new crossfire shot, whatever, is supposed to be really, really quick. So. We're gonna be flying it on this guy. I have not changed the tune. Uh, I'm still gonna be running the same rates, same PID settings, everything. Um, the only difference being that I'm now using the Crossfire Shot. It is still in beta. Um, the beta, this is beta firmware. This is a beta, uh, a nightly build of OpenTX on this jumper. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I have test hovered it. It does test hover fine. However, you know, I want to see how it flies in the real world. I do suspect that I'm probably going to have to do a complete retune of this guy. So, yeah, I'm going to go up for a pack, see how it feels, come back down, and then we'll go from there. So let's go fly. All right, so this is the first test of the new CRSF shot. This is flight number one. I have not changed PIDs, rates, anything. This is just... Um, Upgrading from Crossfire V2 to CRSF shot. See how it does.
So I just flew my first pack on CRSF shot and holy crap, is it good. I can feel a difference. So if I could sum up uh, CRSF shot in one word, what I felt, that was planted. This quad felt very, very planted in the air. Like it just felt like it, it felt like this quad was doing like what I was telling it to do when I was telling it to do it in a way that I kind of expected this quad to behave. Like, yeah, I, yeah, the, it's there. Like everything just felt a lot tighter, a lot more planted. Um, it didn't feel like I was having to like overcorrect for anything. I mean, you saw like the last, like, I don't know, 15 seconds of this pack, I was just doing really, really, really tight, um, uh, maneuvers inside of this V tree, but at the same time, I'm still able to do the really quick, snappy uh, flips and rolls with this guy. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty darn impressed with um, with this new uh, RF protocol that TBS has has developed. So, I'm gonna fly the rest of my packs and uh, see if I can. See if I can get it to feel any better. Been a couple days since I've since I shot the uh, footage that you just saw with the uh, with the crossfire shot, and I've had the opportunity to test it on a racetrack, and it feels really good there. To also doing this test, I had some quads with me that were still on um, FR Sky X and Plus receivers. I flew those quads back to back with the um, quads I had with uh, Crossfire and the new Crossfire shot, and the the difference is there. It's not overwhelming, but it is there. I kind of thought it was overwhelming at one point, but that was just because one of the, my quads, the P's were super, super, super low. But after I bumped them up, it, it I kind of got some feeling back. But um, then again, I I don't know. I was flying like quite an open space. I didn't get the chance to try out like the, the new pids um, with the quad on like the actual track. This was after we took it down. But if I had the choice between um, crossfire shot and just regular FR Sky S bus, I'm taking the crossfire shot. 100%. So, 
If you have access to uh, TBS Crossfire, I highly recommend that you give this a try. I think it will help you all tremendously. And yeah, it's awesome. I know I'm going to be running it on pretty much every single rig that I can run it on going forward. So if you like this video, uh, please give me a like and subscribe. Um, also, I keep forgetting to say this, but I do have a Patreon. So if you all like these kind of test videos or um, the product reviews or I do or just my work in general, um, and you would like to support me financially, then you can do so via the Patreon linked in the video description below. So the Patreon's not really anything fancy. It's a, there's only like one tier on it, um, but you know if this YouTube thing, if, if my YouTube channel like starts growing, then I'll add more tiers. But right now it's just gonna be one tier, one dollar a month. So anyway, that's gonna do it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.